Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 10 of Direwolf20 and Pahamar's Crash Landing series. Pahamar, I'm making cheese. Just don't cut it. I'll try, but I can't make any promises. So, guess what I've been doing, Pahamar? Um, you just said you were making cheese. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I took some of the uh, soybeans that we had and turned it into silken tofu and firm tofu in that presser. And I just like went through and made a bunch of really good foods. You know what? That just brings me memories of McCory's. Like I made apple pie. I made hot dogs. I made baked ham, hamburger, cheeseburger, uh, several other delicious treats and goodies. I mean, like really good things. I think that's pretty much everything I'm going to make right now, though. I could make a chicken sandwich if I wanted to. I just need some mayo, which is just a juicer with some of that firm tofu. But that's kind of... Eh. I don't want to do that. Kind of I know, and that's why I love it. Because it can I make all the things, basically. Planet, I, don't I don't care. It's like, I don't care. I got tofu. Tofu is everything. Tofu is life. How's your uh, how's your mob farm going? It's pretty swanky. Yeah. You wanna you wanna check it out? I do. Let me just harvest some plants real quick because uh, I I don't want this to not get harvested. One thing I'd like to do is maybe get the harvester to take care of both plants and trees before the episode wraps up, but I'm not sure if we'll actually get there or not. See, I am just lighting up the desert. As much as I realize that tofu is awesome now, I kind of want to make it more prevalent in the farm. Like, I knew it was good, I just didn't know it was that good. Remember how we used it never... for fish tacos? No, I do remember that it was, like, good. I just didn't... Like, we've never really played where we need to have, like, such a variety of food. And it really opens up such a huge variety of food that it's like, yeah, you're good. Don't worry about it. All right, so you wanted me to do something with some stuff. You wanted to check out the mob spawner. I do. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. All right, what do you got for me, buddy? Pardon me, as I'm because I have it's daylight. I'm just trying to light up as much around our base as possible. I can see that. That's the idea. So, idea is um, we make as wanna... little spawning space as possible because unlike in agrarian like... skies, there's all the space for mobs to spawn. Right. I think a spider just fell on my head. By the way, I want you to know that. And it's probably because you're a bad person and you should feel bad. I I feel terrible about it. Did you kill it? So I can see there's, there's... No, like, they're falling out of the trap and they're dying. Yeah, I'll zip over there. We definitely need to... What's that? I'm just heading over there. Just heading over there. Oh, okay, cool. Are we should put stairs here. Uh, I'm below. Oh, are so you we above? use our hunger. You. Yeah. No, I'm, good. I'm coming from around. Oh, there you are. I see you. So you're just lighting up the area around our base so that mobs don't spawn there at night and they just spawn in a tower and then they fall to their death. Yep. So, so nice. I made this little recessed pit here because there's that type of creeper that when it dies it explodes and it was blowing up the glowstone nook. So it was making a spawning oh. area. Gotcha. So hopefully... But we have mob griefing off. Uh, it was doing something. Yeah. I don't know if mob griefing uh, respects... Um, these uh, glowstone nooks got torches, I think. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, I want to go eat one of the delicious scared. meals I just made. So yeah, it's actually so, yeah, it's already producing an awful lot of drops. Nice, dude. So yeah, the other benefit is is that we now can open up doors to the base and not have like mobs just instantly fall in. So how are we going to automatically collect all those goodies? Um, that's what you do. We'll probably oh, end up having, God. like, I don't know if we'll have, um, like, a couple pneumatic craft hoppers there or something. That could be an option. Because we don't have blood magic, so it's not like we need to keep them alive so we can harvest their life points. Right. I concur. Oops, my furnace got cold again. I need to do something about that. The Tinker's Ghost um, Smell Tree, or... No, the the smeltery is fine, but like the the high oven that triples our ore output needs charcoal. Oh yeah, and that's that's not great. So, uh, yeah, we have tons of food now. Uh, our water supply is good. I know, I'm excited. 
Uh, I'm like we don't have tons of food, but we have enough food that I'm not worried about it right now. I just I did spend a decent amount of time off camera doing some crafting and such, so. You alright out there? Yeah, I'm back in. I'm actually gonna go up to the top of the tower and just survey my lightedness. Cool. You enjoy your surveys. I'm going to work towards some things. Let's see. Um we should probably look at what quests look at what. we have to do, too. Yeah, this is a questing map, isn't it? I forgot about that. I was so busy trying not to die. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, we should probably look at that. All right, so quests. Um, basic survival. I don't think there's much in here that we can do, unless you want to go check out what has gone before. Uh, that's a data tablet that's 600 meters away. That we should we check that out at some idea. point. We might yeah. be able to do that with the hang gliders. That makes travel a lot easier. Yeah. Um, and then I could work on the reactant dynamos to power our base. Um, I should probably at some point work on, let's see, what's under pressure giving us? I'm, it's probably the next things I need to do, like an empty PCB. Yes. So I need that. Oh, and it gives us capacitors, transistors, and compressed ingots for reward. That's kind of nice. Um, and then, oh, he gives us a PCB blueprint. That is awesome. That's very awesome. Uh, however, we're going to need etching acid, compressed iron ingot, and green plastic. We need an emerald, which means we're going to need to get ourselves a decent amount of gravel. Okay. Couldn't we uh, repurpose yeah. the autonomous activators that we're not using right now? Because we're not sifting right now. We could, most likely. Okay, so it only looks like there's a small strip I still need to do here. Wow, we actually had a zombie land and not die. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit odd. It looks like I could probably expand out some of the lighting as well. I'm just going to check real quick and see if any hoppers laying around. We really do need to sort our inventory at some point, but... Yeah, our inventory is a bit of a funny state. My water situation is also in a bit of a funny state. You're a funny state. Uh-oh. Thank you. Uh -oh. What'd you do? I got knocked. Oh, crap! What'd you do? I, see. I got shot <laughs> out of the sky. Oh, by what? Like a bow and arrow wielding skeleton? Yeah, something like that. That's terrifying. Yeah, apparently if you take damage on the hang glider, you just fall. Oh, well that's awesome. Really terrifying. Yeah. So, I'm going to get, I think, one of those nifty tools that we probably have some of. Stone hammer. You know, I should be able to grab all of them. You want me to borrow a Tonus Activator to get some gravel? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. I'll need both of them then. Guess it doesn't really... Well, you know what I could do? I have an idea. Let's replace this. I wonder if it'd be a good idea to make another trip to the city. I wouldn't be opposed. I might make a knapsack too. Our inventory is ridiculous. Oh, I know. It's just a giant mess everywhere. Oh, I thought we had more leather. And then it's just a matter of hammers and you. I just have to switch this guy to left click mode. And you can be cobblestone. That ought to do. Okay. Done and done, sir. I'm 
cooking up some zombie flesh for some leather. Okay. I'm making some gravel so that we can sift it. Um, work on a, one of those dynamo things that runs off gunpowder. Do you want to come back in a minute when I'm ready with my plan? I think that's you know, good. I just need a bunch of bronze. I'll be right back. Okay. Direwolf. Mr. Pahimar. I'm going on a journey. What? My people need me. Is it the people of the city? Yes. Did you know they're all dead? I'm late. Yeah, clearly. Uh, I am going to work on the quests that we have ahead of us. So I think the first one I need to work on is an empty PCB. And if I'm correct, that's pretty easy to get my hands on. It's just compressed iron and creeper plant seeds, um, plastic. So I'm going to throw, I want to make sure we have enough of these handy. 16 sounds like a good number to throw in here. All I have to do is turn this thing off. I'm lighting up around our little tower. tower. Cool. All right, so this should item filter in. It should deposit the creeper plant seeds. Good. And then this thing should grab the plastic out. Nice. Um, so the only other thing I need to do then is... Grab some compressed iron, which remember I told you we need a lot of those, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. I'm probably going to want to say disable this thing. These two together should get me an empty PCB. Just want to actually see that that works. Should see a little yellow bar here flicker and then off again. You know what I'm harvesting? I do not know what you're harvesting. Elevators. Ooh, that's a good plan. I just needed to get that out of there. And now I can put it in the filter. Seriously, this hang glider is OP. Is it good? Oh, it's so good. It, like, if you use like it, it properly, you can completely negate all damage. Nice. Everybody in the comments of our videos, by the way, was suggesting that we use it, uh, use jetpacks when we go to the city. But I like the hang glider. All right, so let's see. If I put another one of these in here and another one of these, we should get it out automatically. But I believe, oh, I have a step two. Oh, and I have to get an empty PCB that's, oh. uh, Next up, toss the empty PCB in a light box. You simply have to wait. No. Oh, you can pull no. the PCB out. What happened? I got, I got sniped by a zombie pigman. Didn't even see it coming. Oh, that stinks. With a bow and arrow? No, just his fists. Can I please implore you not to leave the base until your clone is done? I'm not leaving. Okay. Because you and your shenanigans terrify me, sir. Shenanigans are the best kind of gins. They are. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big fan of shenanigans, but you, sir, are a little too risky for my tastes. Lovely. I might right. need to borrow um, your hang glider over there when it's time. Uh, I can let you borrow it once your health has resumed being healthy. I am very healthy. Yeah, well, once you have a clone that you're not going to lose. Uh, that's not what I need. Oh, man, it's so boring waiting for my clone. For my... It is, I know, it's okay, but it needs to be done. Um, so I need a PCB blueprint. We got a diamond. We got a diamond. Nice, did we get any emeralds? Doesn't look like it. Alright, do we still have gravel in the thing? Looks like it. Oh, luggage, that would be awesome. Yeah. Diamond hammer? 
that might be a good investment. You think so? I just want an emerald. Well, I'm busy looking at diamonds. All right, you can drill over the diamonds we got. I want emeralds. We have like a little less than half, than a full stack of stuff. Um, so in order to get the thing I need, I need to do the other quest first. So for that, I need plastic, which I actually can probably manually submit. And I need a compressed iron, which I can also manually submit. Which I'm pretty sure we can make. It's a bucket of water, two spider eyes, two plastic, two rotten flesh, and two gunpowder. Let's see, two rotten flesh, two gunpowder, two spider eyes, two plastic, and a bucket of water. And then all I need is an emerald, and they'll give me, as a quest reward, I should apparently get the PCB blueprint. Which is kind of nice. Yoink. So all I should have to do at this point is switch off. And it's. Wait for them all to go in. Go ahead, items. Spider eye. Oh yeah, there's a lot of back stuffed items in that item duct. I have to give it a minute. Whoa. Well, I should a lot probably of do. Items. I know, right? That'll be a little faster. That was a These machine speed upgrades were a good choice by us, by the way. We are very smart people. You know, we are. All right. That should have all compressed into etching acid at this point. I was about to go get those items, but then there's one of those flying spiders in there. Hooray, etching acid. Sink, why are you so slow? I want to adventure. Where do all my filters go? Okay, they're there still. It was just being derpy. I'm going to put etching acid in a filter just in case I ever have to make any more. And to everybody who wants to tell me about etching acid, yes, I'm aware. That's considered a bug, and I'm not going to abuse it. Oh, is that something I'm missing? Um, yeah, it, there's a bug that you can abuse the etching acid in a certain way. I don't really want to say what it is on camera. Oh, we got an emerald. We actually got two emeralds, but we got an emerald. Do you remember how long it took to get emeralds on Agrarian Skies? I know. Hey, I can claim reward. Not that there's really much of a fancy I reward can't there because. About anything about it. Yeah. Um, you should be able to claim reward. Oh, you don't have your book. Haha. <laughs> Potty noob. I hate that name so much. Good. Got your you don't really hate Potty okay. noob, do you? Well, it's not the nicest name. It's not meant to be nice. I'll let that gravel finish chewing up. Um, so now that we've got the light box ready to go, which I'm excited for. Uh, let's see. I need one of a pressure tube, and I need some compressed iron. UV light box. So we've got four of those, and then I need some redstone lamps, which is redstone around glowstone. Cool. Sure. Have you seen this whole process of how to make these things? Nope. If you're interested, I can show you. Well, I'm just killing time. I have a diamond. I have a diamond. 
That should do. UV light box? Good. So if you come into the room here, I'll show you Pahamar. I don't know where you are. So this is a empty PCB. Okay. Okay. You make it by tossing some of the creeper seed plastic and a compressed iron into the pressure chamber. Okay. And then you have to expose it to ultraviolet light, which is this UV light box right here. And you put it in there and it starts running. And it's slow. So see how it has an etch success chance? Yep. Yep. So the next step is to drop it into a uh, some etching acid. And you have a chance based on that etch chance for it to proceed to the next step. Um, so if you let it go to 100%, then you'll definitely get it. But if you pull it out at 50%, like it uses less pressure and it's 50-50 whether it'll work. So it's up to you. And of course, I can put a speed upgrade in here if I want to kind of speed this process up. Cool. So empty PCB, step two of our quest here should be ready in just a moment. And then we'll be able to complete that quest. And that'll actually be good that we're both completing that because um, there's some pretty good stuff that we're going to get out of that. So that's just a waiting game at this point. But there's a there's another way to make these. Um, if you if you grab this empty PCB here, here, I'll let you see. And you look up how it works, like hit U on it. You can see you can also put it in an assembly controller ah, and you'll be ah. able to, to get it. But that requires like a whole machine line. We have some of the machines, I think, that we got from our exploits in the city. How's your uh, how's your clone working out? It's done. It's done. It's done. Hooray. Then you're allowed to leave. May I have your hand glide? Oh, boy. I guess so. But I want it back. OK, let's sleep to the night. Yeah. 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 OK. You want to go there at daytime, huh? Yeah. You think? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I'm taking a cheeseburger with me. Mmm, cheeseburger. I know, right? Sounds pretty delicious. I'm just gonna let this stuff cook up. I don't care what happens to it, really. Might as well just void it almost. All right, so that's all that good stuff. I wouldn't mind some more dust. Oh, I think I know what I wanted to do, by the way. I want to get an excavator at some point. That should make dust collection significantly easier. Some slag. We have some ink sacks. I'm not sure where. Oh, they happen to come from the squid plant. Oh. Oh, we have, we have a squid plant? Oh, squid spawned from it. Right, I got you. I see what you mean. Okay, how's our UV light box thing? Uh, 56%. Nice. That should be done in just a minute. Do you want... Well, I can't really go with you. I wouldn't mind... I'm going to go collect some of our loots. Because I wouldn't okay. mind more bones. There should be plenty of bones plenty in there. Of bones. Ah, there's a flying spider in there. You're, you're a big boy. I killed it, don't worry, but I mean, I noticed you had a lot of concern in your voice. I just wanted you to be aware of the fact that there was a flying spider in there. Where did I die? Around here, I think. Yep, there I am. So you should also be aware of the fact that um, we do have a void, or we have a Ender pearl. So if you wanted to, we could use that to make the void thingy. What? What words? Uh, what words are you? We can make the the void or the the vacuum hopper. Oh, I didn't even know if we could use that. I imagine we can. Yeah, just an ender pearl and obsidian. We should be able to make obsidian pretty easily. Nice. All right, I, um, and I, we have I, one ender pearl handy. I got my stuff back. Did you? Cool. So uh, do me a favor, don't die again. I'm trying. Or no, wait, wait, wait. You should die again so that you can be ahead of me on deaths. Yes. Yeah, we're just That's tied what I want. Right now. Tied right now. We are just tied right now. Pahamar, please die. You're a good friend. 
Thanks. Oh man, I wish I had a pulverizer handy. I could double our bone meal income. Oh well. Are you done yet? 99! 100! Hooray! Um, I am therefore ready to hand that in, and I can claim reward on the exposure quest. I have two questions. I have two questions. That's superbly handy, I want you to know. Yeah, that's really handy. All right, uh, so next, etching acid. Why do you need me to make etching acid again? I just had to make etching acid a minute ago, and now you're making me make it again. Oh, well, at least it's easy to make. Let's see, one, two... One, two, one, two. I knew there was another piece to this. What do I do with my bucket? The city is super scary. It's a pretty terrifying place. I've learned to check inside of the uh, the bookshelves in some of these buildings for spawners. That's probably a good plan. All right, five items going in. This is still disabled on plastics. Cool. All right, that should get me an etching acid bucket. Maybe I lied and it's not there yet. More elevators. I kind of wish I could look inside this machine and see what's going on. I wish there was a bonus to damage for headshots. Oh, nice. It just came out. Awesome. Uh, that would be cool. I'm sure there's a mod that does that. Oh, there's a mod for everything. Sweet. I can claim reward on etching. I'm extremely excited about that, Pahamara, because we're getting printed circuit boards, each of us, for that, which is just that many more. Like, now I'm a little bit more comfortable making machines that is really cool actually buddy oh god that was a terrifying spawner yeah zombie pigman beside a creeper Ooh, that does sound terrifying i'm gonna eat a cheeseburger you are so not <laughs> like that is so scary i'm just going to eat this cheeseburger I'm excited about eating a cheeseburger. You don't understand. Like, that's a really good meal. A cheeseburger, I think, was nourishing meal? Was that it? Wholesome meal. Wholesome meal, Bahamar. How can we only have one cheeseburger in here? I made, like, eight of them. Did you take a bunch? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. I don't mind that you took a bunch. Just don't lose them in the city. All right, so we've got a good supply of things. Like, I'm thinking the next thing we should make is a planter, and then we'll have fully automated stuff, but we should also make um, the mob essence and the grinder thing so that we can get everything we need for the next quest line, the dynamo thing. So out of curiosity, what's next? Tools of the trade? Oh, cool, we've already got half of it because we found it in the station. And Oh, we'll get another printed circuit board. How, much, how do I make a GPS tool? I just need... Oh, wow, we'll get some good upgrades for that too. Hopefully it's not, oh, it's not. It's just a diamond and some fire flower seeds. I need to figure out where I can get fire flower seeds. Uh, grass seeds plus rose red. Okay. I don't think we have any of those yet, right? We have a bunch of seeds, but I don't think we have fire flower yet. So I'll we'll have to get some roses, Pahamara, and we'll have to get some grass seeds from dirt. Eep, eep. 
Uh, are you all right? You like cool out there, or what's going on? I think I'm okay for the moment. Just backing away slowly while my health regens. Crap. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> log out for log safety. Out. Should I log out for safety? No, I just did. Why don't we come back? Okay. Okay. Okay, sounds good. All right, Pahamar. So I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like we made some amazing progress today. I'm glad I just didn't die to those things. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get that on camera, guys, but I managed to get the small zombie pigment with the bow to attack the larger zombie pigment. Nice. And so uh, that allowed me to regen some health and get out of there. That was a very, very sticky situation. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so I've automated the etching acid thing a couple different ways in the past, but I don't think we have any of the mods that I've used in the past to automate the etching acid bucket thing. So, wow, oh, I just got one shot. oh, Pahimar, were you wearing armor? No, I was not. I, you know what? I have a theory as to why you may have died. Because I wasn't wearing armor. Dude, it's like you can read my mind. So you are just this, you are just, you're everything. Thank you. You're my everything, too. Well, I guess well, the next I episode, I'll get that stuff back. That stuff back. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, I've got a bunch of good stuff ready for Pneumaticraft. Pahamar is dying a lot. And then the good news is that now Pahamar has officially died more than I have in this series. I'm very happy about that. This has been a good episode. You've always been just so supportive of everything I've done. Good. All right, guys. Time to wrap up. Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Pahamar, I think next episode I will work towards getting us power um, by way of that React and Dynamo thing. Like, I think now that we have, um, or once you get your quest book back and you can get me the the, the things that you got, uh, I'll feel much better about our, our, you know, printed circuit boards and unassembled PCBs and transistors and capacitors. Like, we're doing really good. We should be able to get, like, an automated food and tree farm up relatively quickly. I wanted Indeed. to get one up this episode, but Pahimar kept dying. Hey, well, it's hard, okay? Blame Pahi Noob. I, 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 you know what? It is hard. That's why I don't even go near the city. I'm terrified of it, because I'm a wimp. And I'm just the adventurous one. Correct. Oh, well. Next time. All right. Take it easy, guys. See you later, guys. <laughs>